Hi and welcome to another unboxing. So today we have a very special figure. Um, I've waited months for this and I pre-ordered with Archonia in Belgium in the end because back in January when her pre-orders ended with Native, because um, if I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the Chris one quarter scale Aqua Bunny version and her promotion pictures are gorgeous. And I just could not stop thinking about her. So I ended up hunting her down. I paid more than retail, um, but hopefully still less than what she's going for in the market now. So she's still in her tissue paper. So if I turn this around, um, it definitely started coming undone. So we are going to rip this off now. I think this is the first time I've actually had a figure arrive with tissue paper, or maybe Rin from Eurocamp may have had it. Um, but this is very exciting. Aqua blue version. Um, pull that out. And that will go in the recycling. So I want to say to start with that this box is absolutely beautiful. I love the roses and the kind of like print they've got. DS Mile is one of the best artists in my opinion, just for my tastes. His art is really soft. And just really beautiful. I also have the Aruru Freeing Bunny on pre-order, which is also based on his art. Um, if they do a Sarah, that is also one quarter scale. I would definitely consider getting her as well, just because they have the one eighth scales of these two figures. I think Chris's face is much nicer on this one, even if uh, the price is kind of killer. But yeah, so. Um, on the side we have her name and some more of these like really pretty decals and then on the back we have the barcode and like information. Uh, there is some in different languages just and English is actually at the top interestingly. Um, so that's all in there then at the bottom we do this gently. Um, there is also some more roses. Now this actually opens up kind of similar to how Lilac Cool's box opened up. So here's one done. I don't think I get the postcard with this edition because it's um, from a different retailer. But we'll see. Right, yeah, there we go. Okay, moment of truth. You're not going to be able to see this on camera, but Probably for the best, considering I cannot show this on YouTube. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am back and we will put her center stage. Now, I am going to start by saying there are a couple of disappointing things with this figure, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's because essentially she released in, I want to say September. It may have been around then. I ordered her in August and she's been on a boat to a european store for quite a while and then they finally got her around december 14th i think it was no december 9th and it's arrived here in the uk by the 14th um it comes with this uh, floofy mat but the problem is which you are about to see in a moment is if i put her on this she's very close to toppling over i may have fixed it a little bit now but you can see, all I have to do is like gently tap and she wobbles quite easily. Now the problem is, her hair here and also her hair here, so if I gently pull down you can see it's come out of place. So I'm going to have to use a hairdryer to gently pull this down because at the moment her knee on this side is not being used at all and her hand isn't. She's essentially resting on her hair and knee, which is not good long term. Um, I don't know if that's actually very visible, so I'm going to just change the camera angle and tilt her around a little bit. So her knee is completely lift her. I don't really want to shuffle around. Her knee is like lifted up and is basically being held up by these pieces of hair because it's longer. I don't know whether this is flattened or what. This one is definitely come up a bit too high. But yeah, um, it is a shame because there is some great paintwork on this figure. 
Um, I love the colouring they've given her knees underneath the stockings. Her elbow here is really nicely a little bit brighter, um, though there is some paint transfer even on her top, just in this corner, which is a shame. Um, but I think that might be the only place with paint transfer. There is also some on her panties from where it's rubbed when she's been in transit because they had some between her underwear and her um, skin, but they, um, they haven't had it for the other area. Um, her ears have been completely fine because like the freeing ones, they give you a little um, stub to hold it in place, which is very handy. Um, there is a nice uh, strand of hair there and her bows look really nice along with, which I didn't notice before, there are like braids here. The detail on her hair is at the top is absolutely lovely. If I just pull her around a little bit. Um, the details on her shoulder blades and her skin colour is really nice. Um, the shoes are also very nice and I do love, this is a real like pom-pom, which is really cute. Uh, I'm not sure how it's been stuck, but essentially her torso does detach. Um, so you can have her with just the like made front bit here um, and the skirt comes off. Um, I do like the fact that the stockings have this like plastic um, top here, which is really nice. And also the collar around her neck here is um, beautiful. Her face is gorgeous, along with all the strands of hair around her face. It's just a shame about this one, obviously getting stuck and just getting um, put in place where it shouldn't have been. Um, I will also say you can clearly see where they've glued places together on mine, which is a bit unfortunate. And also, if I tilt this around, you can see where the gap is with the top. I cannot work out how to get it completely flat. Um, but I do plan on displaying her like this rather than open top. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to get a hairdryer to put these bits back in place because I can't work out why it's where it is. That look definitely looks a bit better now. It's slowly getting there. Um, the smell of plastic is quite overwhelming as well. Um, and also you're going to get a bit of a butt there. But yeah, overall, her paint on the skirt, for example, the gradient on this is absolutely gorgeous, along with the top itself. And I love the details of like her belly button, is really well done. And there is some like frill on her uh, panties down there as well, which is really well, really nicely detailed. I was super excited for this figure. I'm kind of a little disappointed that she, I'm gonna have to do some fixing I think her hair actually might be slowly getting into place now. But she's definitely not completely on the bottom like she should be. But yeah, um, I'll take some b-roll so you can have a closer look. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit of a shame. But she is absolutely gorgeous when you get to see her in person. Um, the angle of this is not great, as is not my lighting. So, because um, they, they do make it so that it goes into this like translucent blue slash silver. And she does look very enticing with her cute little smile. Like, she knows she looks good. Um, I just love the colours on this figure, which is what drew me to her. Um, though I do kind of wish that she wasn't fully cast off because it made it a little bit awkward. Like trying to pull her torso apart to get the, you know, like they put the plastic bits, like this stuff between um, anything that could transfer. But yeah, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. I've, I'm really happy to finally have her. And I think once I fix this piece of hair and this piece of hair by applying a little bit of heat, it should be fine. Um, so I'll take some B-roll of how it is now. I will try and take a picture once I've fixed it to put on the video as well. Thanks for watching.